Have you ever seen a highway built with garbage? The standard of highways is very high, so when building, people will first think of using materials with high quality, so that the roads built will be strong. However, when a highway in China was built, it was decided to conduct an experiment using garbage for construction. Well, it is reported that China has built a 122-kilometer highway with 6 million tons of garbage, a news that shocked both domestic and international community. In the eyes of all people, garbage is waste and harmful substances. How can it be used to build roads? However, China has successfully put this idea into practice. This technology is not only environmentally friendly, but also saves a lot of money, which has attracted many countries to follow suit. So how did China turn waste into building materials? Are highways built with garbage safe? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. So far, the common waste disposal methods are nothing more than stacking, burial or incineration, but no matter which one is used, it will destroy the ecological balance, cause secondary damage to the environment and waste resources. In view of this problem, China has taken a different approach in garbage disposal, creating the world's first garbage highway in history. In fact, there is also a precedent in Europe for building houses with waste materials, but innovations such as road building still surprise these Western countries. The highway built with garbage in China is the Xi'an Outer Ring Expressway. It is built around the Xi'an New District and connects the satellite cities and important towns in the north of Xi'an. It has a total length of 122.6 kilometers, two two-way six lanes, and a design speed of 120 kilometers per hour. The special feature of this project is that its raw material is 6 million tons of garbage. This measure not only saves 3,000 mu of land resources in China, but also saves 32,000 tons of coal and 170,000 tons of limestone reducing emissions by at least 40 million cubic meters of carbon dioxide. While reducing resource consumption, it also protects the environment to a great extent. In addition, according to estimates, the project is also expected to reduce land excavation by more than 1,500 mu. Moreover, the construction waste recycled materials consumed by the project replace the traditional materials such as gravel, which can save about 170 million yuan in project cost and reduce construction waste removal and consumption costs by about 250 million yuan. So how did China turn waste into building materials? In fact, the garbage used to build roads in China is not ordinary plastic products and other garbage, but construction garbage mainly used for old cement and waste bricks. Many people may be unfamiliar with construction waste, because there are few opportunities to produce construction waste, but China dismantles and builds a large number of buildings every year. From the statistics of 2020, at least 1.55 billion tons of construction waste will be generated every year. Unlike plastic products, these wastes are difficult to use, so how to solve and store construction waste has become a big problem in China until someone proposed to use it to build roads. The rubbish used on this expressway is a type of construction waste called jatu in Chinese. This kind of rubbish can only be piled in the garbage heap and occupies land area, but now it can play a big role. The asphalt roads we often see are very smooth, but under the asphalt, there are actually a lot of uneven pits that need to be filled. The jatu can be used as a material for laying roadbeds and filling pits, of course, it needs to be treated before it can be used. Since the material requirements for filling are not too high, but the amount is very large, construction waste muck is particularly suitable. But doubts also emerged, the most concerning is how safe it is. As we all know, the road must be safe and smooth, so as to ensure that the car does not have an accident. If there is a landslide or uneven road surface within a few years, the probability of a traffic accident will also increase. 
So, how does China ensure the safety of its roads? Well, if you want to use construction waste to build roads, you will undoubtedly need to overcome many difficulties. First of all, construction waste is uneven and not viscous enough to be used as filler effectively. Once large-scale construction waste is put into use, it is easy to cause water penetration and even lead to damage to the roadbed and greatly shorten the life of the road. So, how did the Chinese engineering team solve these problems? First, the workers screened the garbage for several rounds. After the unusable garbage was eliminated by methods such as sand filling, the remaining construction garbage was crushed to ensure that the particle diameter was less than 15 centimeters. Since the structure of the highway itself is gravel, after a layer of asphalt is added to the crushed waste, these construction wastes can act as gravel. As for the adhesion problem, after some attempts, Everyone finally found that as long as 1.5% of cement is added to the construction waste fragments, it is enough to ensure the adhesion is qualified. So, how did the engineering team solve the problem of water penetration? Although this problem seems to be very difficult, the Chinese engineering team also came up with a solution in a short period of time. They also added a layer of waterproof geotextile to the middle layer of the construction waste, which reached the final qualification standard. In fact, there are many similar cases. For example, in recent years, with the continuous increase in the number of private cars, car tires need to be replaced every two years, which also produces a large number of waste tires. These rubber products are very difficult to handle and cannot be solved by burning, and the huge volume is not convenient for landfilling. However, in the process of road construction, asphalt pavement is laid in many places. After the tires are turned into particles, they can be used to mix into the asphalt, and thus directly become the material for pavement. In fact, other countries have also used similar methods. For example, the United States arranges complete tires on the roadbed in sequence, and then covers these tires with asphalt, thereby greatly improving the life and bearing capacity of the road. According to statistics, China produces nearly 1 billion tons of waste every year, including about 400 million tons of domestic waste and about 500 million tons of construction waste. In addition, there are about 10 million tons of kitchen waste, and urban domestic waste is still at an increasing rate of 5% per year. From 1979 to 2012, the volume of urban domestic waste removal and transportation has increased by 5.8 times. It can be seen that the problem of cleaning up garbage is urgent. Although many countries around the world already have complete garbage disposal mechanisms, it does not mean that humans can create garbage at will. In daily life, we still need to live a low-carbon life, reduce the generation of waste, and do a good job of garbage classification, and do not randomly discard garbage in the wild. Only in this way can we maximize the protection of the environment and protect our only Earth. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.